please 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 subscribe please 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 subscribe <laughs> welcome back everyone this is queen of queen she me and today i have for you guys a haul video <laughs> so it's been a while since i've come to you guys with the actual haul video because you know gotta stack those coins so that we can actually go and do a little shopping so um i really didn't pick up too much i just pretty much went to bath and body works sally's and i went to burlington so that's what i want to share here with you guys today on my channel so if you're interested in seeing what i picked up on my haul then continue watching okay so we're just going to start off with bath and body works um i actually picked this up like three weeks ago and we burned a couple of the candles and that's pretty much what we got was candles because they had the actual um, $10 off any candle sale and then you got an additional 20 or 30% off. So yeah, so I'm just going to share with you guys pretty much which candles I picked up from Bath & Body Works. Okay, so the first one that I picked up from Bath & Body Works is the White Barn Mahogany Teakwood High Intensity Scented Candle. Oh my gosh, you guys like... First of all, I love Mahogany Teakwood from Bath & Body Works. Second of all, I didn't even know they had a high intensity. I didn't know it was a difference between these candles. Um, I just thought primarily it was the packaging, as you can see. Um, I love this. This is just so sexy. This is like black, and then it has like the gold um, sticker on it to give it a pop. So I really love that black and gold is just like sexy. I love seeing that combination. And yeah, and so typically it comes in a like brown container and this one is actually black. So um, it smells so freaking good. It's like, to me, it reminds me of like a cologne. It really does. I just love how this candle smells. So again, they are a three wick candle. This is the Mahogany Teakwood. And again, this one is specifically the high intensity version of the Mahogany Teakwood. They do have a um, softer intensity of the actual Mahogany Teakwood. The second candle that I got from Bath & Body Works is Autumn. And I just got it because it's, first of all, it smells so good. It really does. It reminds me of fall. Um, and it really does just give your home like that warm fall, like scent, like fall just got here. Like literally, like it's just starting to actually cool down here in Florida. So that is amazing because it's just been so freaking hot. But anyways, I love this candle. We have pretty much almost burned this whole candle down. Like that's how long we've had these candles. But this one in particular, like we really liked it. It just smells so good. It just has like that. It just has that fresh fall scent you guys like when fall first rolls around into season and um it does have like a um underlying like ice scent and it just smells so freaking good so if you don't want anything that's too strong and you want to burn it in your house um you know for like a couple of hours or so definitely pick up the autumn candle from bath and body works so the next one that we got from Bath & Body Works was the Bergamot Waters. And this is again from White Barn. And they are um, a part of Bath & Body Works, but the packaging is different. Um, if you haven't noticed when you go into Bath & Body Works. But this is Bergamot Waters. I love how this one smells. Oh my gosh. Again, this one has like a very, very, very soft underlying like cologne scent. But... It does smell, it does remind you of like a waterfall, like if you're around like a, um, just any kind of natural environment that has water pretty much, but in a good way, like it smells good, it smells fresh, uh, smells really clean. Mm, it just smells really good. It smells really, really, really good. So um, I just highly suggest that you um, go into Bath & Body Works and smell these candles, you guys, because they have so many to choose from um, and everyone's palette is different. You know? You guys, Bergamot Waters, we've had this one before and we just picked up this one because the packaging is different. Um, yeah, and it just smells so good. So again, this one is Bergamot Waters from Bath & Body Works. The last candle that we picked up from Bath & Body Works is White Gardenia. All of these candles except for one came from the White Barn um, collection. But um, this one is White Gardenia. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells like fresh gardenias. Like you guys know, I love flowers. I love anything that's a floral scent as well. So, as well. so if it's a floral scent or a cologne scent, you, you pretty much got me there. Cause I just love, I just love those two scents, but 
this one really is a nice floral scent it's not too strong um i haven't burned this candle so i'm not sure how it will actually smell when you burn it because sometimes too when you burn candles they smell different from what they actually smell when they're not burning so um this one here it may be a soft scent and then again it may be a mild or stronger scent so um i won't know until i actually burn this one but it just smells it just smells so freaking good right now so um again this is white garden oh! So again, this is White Gardenia, and I just love this packaging. You guys know I love pink as well. I tell you guys everything that I freaking like. So that is pretty much it from um, Bath and Body Works, you guys. So we're going to move right on ahead into Sally's. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up from Sally's was the, of course, Jamaican mango and Lime, Jamaican Black Castor Oil. If you've been following me here on my channel for some time, you guys know this is like my ride or die. This is my holy grail. This is my baby. I just love this freaking oil you guys I'm sorry <laughs> but it's good for everything I use it for hot oil treatments I use it to massage my scalp I use it for places where I think I'm thinning it it's also good for making your hair thicker it helps to make it stronger and it also helps to make it you know just better overall in your natural hair journey so if you have not tried Jamaican black castor oil definitely try it like I have not met one person who does not like Jamaican black castor oil. Like, you definitely have to try it. So, pick this up from your local Sally's or wherever you go and pick up your natural hair care products. Or even if you're not natural, just your favorite hair care store. And 9 times out of 10, you're going to find the Jamaican mango and lime Jamaican black castor oil. Okay, so the next oil that I picked up, um, it's a new brand. I haven't... I have never seen this brand until I was in Sally's um, and it's just and it's an oil that I have tried before and I really do like this oil if you guys have not seen my essential um, oils video I will link it somewhere here throughout the video and also list it down below in the description bar for you guys from a brand called Marula Nature And it's their Pure Marula Oil, and it's in a 1.7 fluid ounce container. I don't remember how much this actually cost because, again, I picked this up like almost three weeks ago. I just, it was buy one, get one half off, or either buy one, get one free, but I think this was buy one, get one free. And I had gone in there like a few weeks back to back, and it was still on sale. And I said, let me just go ahead and grab this and try it out. So I haven't tried it out. If you're interested in me just reviewing this in a separate video, I can do that for you guys. But for the most part, it's just another essential oil that I'm adding to my already wide collection of natural oils. <laughs> so again, this is um, from Marula Nature and it is their pure Marula hair oil. Okay, so the next thing that I got from Sally's and you guys are going to laugh. I don't have the tag anymore, but I will leave the link down below to Sally's Beauty so you guys can pick up these headbands. They were mad cheap. I think it was like between three to five dollars, but it came in a pack of ten, I believe. And if I'm not mistaken, they may have came in a pack of five. And I love these. Like you can literally, like if you really need to pull your hair back from off of your face, these are perfect. You don't have to worry about trying to stretch them out. Or worrying about you know them not being tight enough to actually hold your hair in place and I'm sorry I don't know the name but I will definitely definitely leave the link down below because that was pretty much everything from Sally's you guys um yeah it really wasn't too much I also asked for shower caps but I mean they're just shower caps we always need those when we're deep conditioning so um we did stop into Ulta on that same day I do remember that and I did pick up some of the NYX um, lip liners and these are in the shade I think these are a new shade I haven't tried well one of them is a new one this one is in the shade current and then the other shade is mahogany and you guys know I love 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 mahogany um, lip liner from NYX that is my holy grail lip liner and then I also picked up a lip liner from Essence and I've already used this one before and this is their uh, red blush lip liner so I'm just going to show you guys pretty much what the colors look like so this is mahogany this is current and those two are from NYX Cosmetics and then this last one is from the brand Essence and it is in the color red blush and I'm going to actually swatch this one for you guys since it's not wrapped in plastic and that's what this one looks like so this is red blush 
all right so that was pretty much what i got from um ulta as well you guys i did pick up some real technique beauty blenders but i've already been using those they came in a double pack and they were i believe either 8.99 or 10.99 but i loved those freaking beauty blenders they're like kind of like contoured out so um i will leave the link to those down for you guys as well the next few items that I got, I just picked up from my local um, beauty supply and I just picked up some more of these hair clamps. You guys, I cannot have enough freaking hair clamps. First of all, it's two of us in this household that is natural, okay? So, um, we can't just be trying to work with just only four or five or six hair clamps. Like, uh-uh, baby. We need a stockpile of hair clamps. So, these were for $1.99, and they're the three-inch butterfly clamps, and they come in 12 pieces. It's 12 pieces in this one packaging. And again, this is by the brand Annie. And then I just picked up a simple gold headband. And then I picked up an um I picked up a navy blue head scarf um for Alexa. You know the ones where you can fold them into a diamond, you know, so that we can just kind of like make it a headband or whatever, like a bandana kind of thing. So yeah, um I picked this up as well. Um and the previous headband I showed you, the gold one and this other one, they were only a dollar a piece. And then I just picked up a wide band um black headband and this one was a dollar as well because you guys know it is going you know it's just gonna be cold and you need something to protect your ears and stuff like that and i don't do earmuffs and all that jazz but you know it's gonna be those days where you just really don't want to be bothered with your hair you just want to want to pull it back but that is a quick simple um fix but primarily you want to always make sure that if you're using any kind of actual headband that it actually has a silk material because it's actually more gentle on the hair than actually a cotton material so just like i stated those are a quick fix primarily you always want to go with a silk material when it comes to any kind of um, headbands or scarf for your natural hair so the last store that i stopped into as stated earlier in the video was burlington you guys know i love burlington that is like my like one stop shop for like hair body skin clothes houseware cookware foodware any kind of wear Burlington has everything that you need for your house, okay, and for yourself personally. <laughs> the first item that I picked up, and I have been stocking Burlington for these freaking makeup re remover wipes, you guys. And these are by Petal Fresh Botanicals, and it's their makeup removing cleansing towelettes. And it's toning and balancing, and it's in the um, and it's pretty much rose extracts, pretty much that's in there. And it has no parabens, GMOs, sulfates, phthalates, gluten, harsh preservatives, um, petrochemicals, and it is not tested on animals. And it contains 60 wipes, so I got two of them. You guys, I was on my last one and it's down in the drawer and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm running low on my favorite face wipes. Because when you get home and you're like, you're just tired and you don't want to wash your face, like... I started noticing that my skin was like really starting to even out and balance, especially texture wise. And I think a lot of it is due to using these as well as changing a couple of things in my skincare regimen. Um, and I'll share that with you guys in a later video. But I love these freaking facial wipes. So these facial wipes were originally $10 and I picked these up for $3.99 a pack. So I pretty much saved $6. So yeah, I picked up two packs of these and I love these Petal Fresh cleansing towelettes, you guys. Oh, and they smell so good and they are so soft on the skin. So definitely stop by your Burlington in their um, facial and skincare department. Since we're talking about face anyways, um, I really <laughs> was excited when I came across this one, you guys. Um, also, you guys already know they carry everything that's pretty much like drugstore wise and they also carry high end products as well. But when I was in Burlington and came across this, I was ecstatic. And these are the Real Techniques On Location Travel Essential Brush Set. Like, come on now, y'all. Real Techniques in Burlington? Burlington? I was like, oh my freaking gosh. Yeah, so they pretty so this one pretty much came with an essential foundation brush. And that's this first one right here. This big fluffy brush is the multi-task brush. And you can use it for any kind of application used for um, your powder, your blush, or your bronzer. 
and then this small dome brush here in the center you guys this one you can use this one for like to um help apply your favorite eyeshadows and it really helps to apply them on smoothly and also to to actually help you with defining your actual eyeshadow so yeah this is pretty neat for if you're just trying to travel and you don't really want to have so many brushes you guys um yeah so you guys know real techniques is not cheap at all the original price of these brushes are $17.99 $17.99. I did not pay $17.99. I paid $8.99, you guys. So you cannot beat that. You can't tell me that this wasn't a good find when I went to Burlington. Okay, so now we're going to move right on ahead into hair care because you guys do not sleep on Burlington. Again, do not sleep on Burlington. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys. Do not sleep on them. Do not sleep on them. Okay, so... While I was in there, Alexa came across some more oils. You guys know, I told you guys, natural oils are the way to go for your hair. I'm telling you, it just keeps your hair from being so weighed down with so many freaking products. I'm telling you. But we wound up picking up some jojoba oil and coconut oil. And this is from the brand, oh, Different Feel. That's what it's called. It's called Dye Feel, but um, it stands for Different Feel. So this is what it looks like. And you guys know you can find these locally in your um you know local beauty supply store and these i believe are like originally three dollars yeah these are originally three dollars and 49 cents a piece so pretty much i'm holding 15 dollars worth of oils and i only paid eight dollars you cannot beat that you can't beat that you cannot freaking beat that you guys and i love the fact that it has an actual twist top on there so you don't have to worry about spilling anything or anything like that you can actually you know pretty much determine how much oil you're actually wanting to come out of the applicator bottle these things are phenomenal you can put them directly on your scalp and just squeeze it on there and you can just massage your scalp and i'm telling you this will really be your best friend so definitely definitely check out Burlington, you guys so again we picked up the jojoba oil and then we also picked up the coconut oil as well all right so everyone knows dark and lovely now since i have been natural i have not tried anything from the dark and lovely line so you guys know i'm going to have to come to you with a separate video on this you already know but i'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what i did pick up um from burlington the first one i just only picked up one bottle of it and it is their dark and lovely all natural anti-shrinkage beyond gentle and sulfate free wash I'm taking this that it is an actual shampoo um, because for one it doesn't say shampoo on there it just says wash um, <laughs> so I'm just going to assume that it is an actual shampoo you guys and this is um, infused with mango oil and, ba and bamboo milk and yeah and it says that it is for all curl types and it says recipe for all day elongation so it's really saying that you guys you're not going to have to do with any shrinkage so we're going to see because i have shrinkage all across the front here i primarily have like a 4a hair type if you cannot tell because my hair is in such a shrunken state so we're going to see how elongated it's going to last but for the most part you guys it smells just like freaking mangoes which i freaking love mangoes are so delicious oh my gosh so yeah definitely definitely going to come to you guys with a review and demo of using this so the next product that i got from burlington um that is a part of the dark and lovely all natural collection is the cleansing conditioner so this is pretty much a co-wash and you guys know it's co-wash season because it is fall time and anybody got time to be doing no shampoo and then you're drying your hair out and yada 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 we don't want to damage our hair we want to protect our hair ladies so that's what we're going to do um so this is the cleansing conditioner and it says it's for dry dehydrated curl types um and with this one you just pretty much leave it on we just pretty much apply it to wet hair and then i guess you just leave it on for a couple minutes or so and then you rinse it off so um again 
I would use this as a co-wash and then probably go back in with some more. Let it sit on my hair while I'm in the shower and then rinse it out. So again, I will come to you guys with a full video actually using these hair care products from Dark and Lovely because again, I have not tried anything from Dark and Lovely since I have been natural. So this is going to be pretty interesting. I'm excited about it and I hope you guys are too. Alright, so the next thing I picked up were some simple headbands. And these are nothing more than blue flowers. Yes, I know it's fall, but I really don't care. I love colors. They're just so gorgeous. So as you can see, I'll probably wear it like such. And yeah, so that's cute. And then this one is nothing more than a regular headband. And so I will wear it the exact same way. Just wear it across the front here. And yeah, just be on my merry way. So those are cute. And I think I only paid like 89 cents or maybe even 50 cents for those. It was really, really cheap. So I picked up an earring set from um, Sophia and Kate and I love these multi-set earring um, sets pretty much. Um, as you can see, I have a pair on now. Um, I hope you guys can see that. But they're pretty much, you guys know, I love freaking hoops. So that's what I'm wearing today. And then they have these other ones that have actual rhinestones on them. And then I also have a big diamond pair. And then um, you have these um, triangular shaped ones. And then the other one is messed up, and that's okay. And then you also have the cubes on the end. So those are freaking cute. Um, and I got this whole set for $2.99. So the final item that I got from Burlington, you guys, were these cosmetic storage bins. And oh my gosh, if y'all could see all the shit that I have right now. Y'all be like, Queen, why you got all this stuff and we don't see any tutorials? Because I'm not a makeup guru. I'm a makeup beauty lover. I'm a makeup beauty vlogger. So I like to buy it, share it, and then use it behind the scenes, honestly. But um, you guys, I'm not a makeup guru. So I, I don't feel confident enough, honestly, in you know sharing a lot of makeup tutorials because I really don't know a lot. You know, and then also too, I shop on a budget. So some things that I want, I don't necessarily have. Yes, yeah, so I just had two cosmetic bins, you guys, and they were $2.99 a piece. And I just love the shape of them because as you can see, they are just pretty much like a rectangular shape. Uh, I'm going to have to wipe them down. So excuse the fingerprints that are on them, you guys. But yeah, so these were $2.99. I just thought they were pretty neat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, my king and queens. If you did please 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 subscribe please 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 subscribe <laughs> you guys y'all don't know me behind the scenes like in real life like i'm really 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 goofy but um yeah you guys i would really appreciate it if you like this video thank you so 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 much for watching if you're a uh, you know, if you've been riding with me since day one, thank you so much. If you're brand new to my channel, thank you so much for even watching my videos. Um, Let me know down below in the comment section if you have used any of these products that I have shown here to get today. And let me know what you guys think about it because I'm always wanting to know people's honest opinions here on my channel. And I really do appreciate it. So, thank you guys so much for watching my king and queens. And I will see you guys in my next upload. Be blessed.